There are two methods of lossless compression you've got to know about. And the first is RLE. RLE stands for run length encoding. And run is just a fancy word for a sequence of consecutive values. So here is some text. We can see lowercase a is repeated consecutively. That is a run. We've also got a run of four H's at the end. And RLE will try and compress this data into a different form. The form it uses are frequency value pairs. So for every character, it will start by listing its frequency. How many times does it occur? So we can see capital A occurs once. You then have 10 occurrences of lowercase a, four occurrences of lowercase h, and one occurrence of the exclamation mark. Of course, we're trying to reduce file size here. And so the idea is that instead of storing the lowercase a 10 separate times, we store it once with how many times it occurs. And to decompress, it can use the frequency and the value to put it back to the original. RLE really works best when you've got data with long repeated blocks. And to be honest, text isn't very good for RLE really typically because in normal English text, letters don't repeat more than twice. And so it's not very useful. RLE really works quite well with images, especially if you have blocks of similar pixels or ideally the same pixel. If we haven't got these long repeated blocks, then it can make things worse. That's because we're having to store the frequencies alongside the values. And if there aren't many runs, then we're having to actually add more to our file.